So, hello everyone, and I'm talking about the Sami Council and want to cancel Square Enix. And this to me is hilarious, right? So, I will I will make fun. I'm gonna roll some harder, okay? So, subscribe to the like button because this to me is absurd. And if you're new to my channel, you might not know that one of my all time favorite animes of all time is Golden Kamui, right? Talk about at length. It's an amazing anime. I recommend it heavily, heavily, heavily. Right? Here on this channel, I'm about gaming, right? And anime. And I love this anime. It's my top 10 anime of all time. Here's part of the opening. It is truly an amazing anime. This anime takes place on uh, Hokkaido and Sakhalin and so on, it's like northern Japan, right? Far northern Attire. My point, of course, is that the main character in this anime, uh, I see it up behind his clothing, right? Uh, and this is how the island dress. This is Ainu clothing. This is not Sami clothing, this is Ainu clothing. This is how the Sami dress. This is the Crown Princess of Victoria, uh, you know, dressing in Sami clothing. Here again is the game clothing. Which clothing is the more similar? I would genuinely, and I really mean it right, I think that the, the Ainu, right? The Ainu people are more similar. The Ainu people are more similar. The, the pattern of the clothing, uh, how the hat attire works, right, and so on. It is more similar to Ainu culture. So I want to say it immediately. When I saw this thing, I was like, are you kidding me? The Sami culture from Sweden, Norway, and so on. Uh, they're mostly in Sweden, I think. Uh, you know, I'm a Swede for the matter, so I'll come to that later. But yeah, so the Sami culture, they're claiming, right, that Square Enix have stolen their culture and put it into a video game. First and foremost, right, I worked for the game industry many years, and I would, to be fully transparent here, I also have worked for Square Enix, right? So maybe I'm biased then. And also I'm a Swede, you know, I was Swede about Sami, whatever. My point is that I made many games in my life, right? I made one game where we have three different factions. One of them was heavily inspired by religious uh, different things, right? So we had every character in that faction had different religious undertones. One was named Biku, he was like a, a Buddhist priest guy or a monk. Uh, another name has Kronos, he was also the time guy, he had time powers, right? Another guy was named Janus, so he had the power of, you know, shifting faces and doors and so on, teleporting, right? Janus is the god of doors and uh, like uh, lying or whatever, so on, right, in Greek mythology. So every character in that faction had inspiration from different gods, right? In and all different like religious pious or whatever. In you know, all the religious, right, you know? And I designed that game, I was creative director of that game, right? And I, and I don't feel like, oh no, I'm so offensive because I take different ideas from different cultures, right? Like, we do it all the time, it's called, you know, fair use, right? Where you were inspired by the stuff, right? So here then, Square Enix has made this clothing, right? And inspired by, uh, you know, for an ordinary attire, right? And that makes the same say, they're stealing a culture or whatever. Uh, but again, first of all, I don't think that's a thing. Right? I think that you should be allowed to be inspired by different cultures, right? That's first and foremost. Right? But secondly, more important here, I really do think that the Sami Council comes off as like ignorant, almost kind of racist, right? Or also racist because, well, actually, we have the Ainu culture in Japan. Again, the Ainu culture in Japan. This clothing looks way more like the Ainu clothing because they have the same hats they have like in the Ainus and the. Uh, this kind of skirt pattern is much more similar to the Ainus. So I'm just a little bit like, but are they even culturally appropriating you guys? Or are they culturally appropriating the Ainus? And of course, again, like we learn, if you've ever seen Golden Kamui, again, amazing anime, I'm right? totally anime, right? I recommend it heavily. As we learn in Golden Kamui, right? The Ainus is an indigenous native to Japan, right? And I think it's. You know, I work for Swedish, right? Not people Swedish so on. And I think it's more reasonable to assume that the Japanese artists and developers in Japan are probably way more aware of the Ainus than the Sami. Because the Ainus are actually living with them, right? You know what I mean? And Swedish has a lot of developers and artists so on, right? You know, from the northern island of Japan, right? And th that region. They really do, right? And they might know Ainu people. So they might be like, Oh, I'm gonna make this like, you know, winter clothing set in the game. I'm gonna be inspired by the Ainu strat. It's in other anime, it's like if you're Shaman King, you have an Ainu guy in Shaman King, he has basically the same clothing. That anime in the manga was on like 95 or something, right? He's, he runs around in like, more or less the same clothing, but it's like blue instead. <laughs> he has a guy, yeah, yeah, it's like, no, I mean, yeah, and there's the code of more spirit and whatever. We can find many examples in manga and anime and gaming, where they have this clothing, and it's mostly inspired them from the Ainu people, right? Uh, that being said, from an historical standpoint, it of course is a similarity between like the Russian 
west northern Russian Samis and the east east northern Russian Ainus then, right? And then the Russian Ainus and the Japanese Ainus have also some similarities, right? Those are kind of quite similar. So there of course has probably been some kind of historical trading and so on between these different like these are mostly nomadic tribes, right, in the northern region of Europe and Asia. So certainly it's been like trade between them, and that's why the clothing is kind of similar, right? But I really hope the Swedish don't, don't, don't give them any money at all, because I, I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pro the cultural inspiration, right? But even more so, they're like, you know, you know what? We're actually inspired by Ainus, which are Japanese, <laughs> right? It is supposed to be like the Sami council is coming off as ignorant, right? They're straight up ignorant. They pretend that I don't exist. But I think it's kind of funny because. The Sami Council, as a Sweden, let me tell you, right, they are very unpopular in Sweden by both the own Samis that I know, but also by Sweden, right? Because they always try to do this stuff. They're basically just trying to get attention, right, for more stuff. And this feels like a straight up attention ignorant <laughs> attack here, because I'm, I'm pretty sure, and I genuinely mean it, that I think this clothing is mostly inspired by Japanese people, the Ainus. And this makes more sense than this, and it looks more like that. The only thing they have going for them is the color scheme, but then there are other color schemes. Uh, I thought this is, you, you can't change, because this is, this, is on the, this is on their website, okay? This is on the Sami website, they, they haven't been bothered, so you can change image here. But you can actually get other clothing colors, right? And if you change clothing coding, then it looks even more like Ainus. So they purposely picked this color too, that is the same as the Samis, right? Usually the blue is the kind of the Sami color. Uh, that being said, again, sure, right? Sure. Screenix might have looked at also the Sami and so on, right? And taken some, mixed them up, right? But I don't think they have, I don't even think they have a, like an intellectual copyright case here to even claim that this is similar, you know, enough to the Sami versus the Ainu. So don't you read on that. I, I think it's hilarious that uh, again, going to commit one of my favorite enemies, right? And it's kind of funny to me that people are complaining about, oh, they're, ste they're stealing our cultural clothing. It's like, no, they aren't. They have the exact same kind of clothing in their own country, right? You're just being ignorant. You yourself are the ignorant people that know about other cultures, right? Because they have to stick up their answer. Right? But for that matter, though, if I just read this thing, it makes even less sense. And it is clearly not written by any person with legal stuff. Because again, you talk about Disney and so on. It's really, really weird. So they're like the game industry, blah blah blah, is open. Yeah, this this it's all this crap is so fun, right? Because they're like the game industry is more open and inclusive and so on. Gender identity and women and blah blah blah. They try to be super woke, because it's called it woke for ease for ease right? But they actually are not woke, right? You know what I mean? Let's put it up. This is like a woke failure, right? You know? And I and I, I, I won't go into the whole left and right. I just want to point out that I obviously would summarize them as come off as super left woke or whatever, right? But my point is that it's kind of funny because you no know, Square Enix has their own people, you know, indigenous to, to you know, but they work that have the same clothing. So you're like, are they, are they actually not including other people? It's just kind of come up weird, right? It's come up with they have no idea about other other countries, right? It's just very strange. And they also talk about Disney, how they made David Disney like ten years ago. It had no relevance to it, no relevance to it. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's the video. I basically wanted to talk about how the Ainus is also a people of you know that exists, right? These people and they have very similar clothing. It's a rich culture and Bosch Golden Kamui is an amazing anime. You learn a lot about the Ainus. And if you learn about the Ainus, you're gonna say this clothing or straight up Ainu clothing, probably rather so. Like I mentioned, we have other anime, Shaving Kicks, right? They have the clothing too. You have games like Neo, etc. Right? They have other games too. They have this clothing. Where is my. I think I have Neo here. You have Neo 2 here, yeah. I even have Neo 2 here, right? Here's, the, here's Neo. This game also has, you know, this kind of clothing because it's Japanese history as well, right? I sound like a freaking eager weeb now being like, you stupid Swedes, you're talking about Japan history! But seriously though, right? If they actually studied Japan history, they would know how they have the Ainu and so on, so it doesn't make any sense. But anyway guys, see you guys and have a great day.